been at the Festival of Books since 2015 and this is one of the events for us that's extremely important because it gives us access to a larger audience than our usual uh, Farhangis and it's also an excellent opportunity to present Iranian authors and books about Iran or anything related to our culture and art to a greater audience of book loving people. We try to create an opportunity for authors that have either written books about Iran or have some influence in other areas to join us at the book festival. Essentially a place for them to get introduced to a larger audience and also for the average book loving person to get acquainted with what Iranians are doing at the moment. A lot of the books are selected based on the value we feel they would bring to the community at large. Our best sections usually are anything that has to do with cuisine, travel, but I've also noticed that many, many of our attendees look for books on Iran, the history of Iran, um, if you look for um, uh, novels, and we even had a young American young woman who asked for a book in Persian for her grandfather. So that was really heartwarming and we, we introduced her to Dajan Apelon. So I'm hoping that the grandfather would appreciate that. Since 2015 we've been part of this excellent festival and every year we try to showcase the works of at least four authors that join us during the festival and they essentially interact with the people who stop by and they present their work to the um, community who's here on these two days. Uh, so we, it's a festival over two days and we usually have one author in the morning and one author in the afternoon each day that the festival is going on. I'd like to add that when we started in 2015 we had a much smaller booth and the participation was not as great but over the years I think because Farhang has become a greater part of the community and also I believe that our presence here has been noted. We've grown and we have a much bigger booth at the prime location that makes it easier for us to present these books to the people who stop by. I'm here to present uh, uh, my latest book Abacus of Loss. Abacus of Loss is a very unusual book. It is a collection of prose, poetry, reportage, created in a form that is very accessible and it draws the reader in. And it's a memoir, so it is my journey, but through the book I hope I draw you in so that it becomes your journey as well. Also here they have uh, books of my translations of Farooq Farooq Saad, Sin, and my translation of Attar's Mantegotair, The Conference of the Birds. So that's always wonderful to have. It's an honor to be presented along these giants of Iranian literature. I only translate as a service, as a service to us Iranians with children who cannot read Persian and to the general um, Western world, sp English speaking world, because I believe literature is an important bridge that connects different cultures and languages. People ask, always ask me, what do you request from your readers? I always request, please support women, support women of your culture who are trying their best to present Iranian culture under a cultural light in a in a beautiful way so not just not just me but many of us who are writing and striving to live in the United States in in a Western culture while preserving our own this is not my first time at this festival every time I've had a new book it's it's been my honor to have been invited here to this festival but this is the first time I'm presenting at the Farhang Foundation booth and it's a it's a, it's a great honor for me because this foundation in Los Angeles is a very important foundation, not only for 
Iranians and Iranian-born human beings who are now living in the United States, but because this is a foundation that, that whose goal is to connect two different cultures and honestly that means that they're working towards some kind of world peace and I appreciate that. The book that I'm really proud of is Hafez. This is the book that I spent about 25 years to translate and the reason I did it is because I was reading the translations in English and they were not Hafez. None of them were satisfactory for me so I decided to do it my own and I started working on it and I learned the poetic language in English and I started working on Hafez poetry. Some of the verses took me like a month to translate it. But it was very important to do the real office translation. So that's my pride. The other works that I've done that I really enjoy, one is Rumi Revealed to introduce who true Rumi was. Rumi was really the essence of, of many, many things. And that's what this book is about. The other one that we have here is Samak de Ayar. Samak de Ayar is about the people of street, the real Iranians, the way they lived at the time. The Farhang Foundation is truly what we need to help to develop the culture, especially the way they are doing it now, letting the world know about the Iranian culture and the impact of it, not only on our own children and grandchildren, in the large scale in the global level. I'm thrilled to be here once again as a guest of Farhang organization at the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books. Uh, we're presenting today our newest book which is called The Donkey's Gone as well as our previous book which is called The Heart's Garden. Both of these are based on uh, stories and poems of Rumi Molana and they've been adapted uh, for children so that children can also share a little bit of the wisdom of Rumi and get exposed to it hopefully at an early age. I'm excited to work on these with my partner Sheila Shakuri who's an amazing artist and she's done all the illustrations and we're very very proud of these books and we hope that uh, more of the younger population will find these books and be able to enjoy them. Uh, it's wonderful that Farhang, uh, year after year, uh, creates a space for Iranian uh, writers and illustrators to come and to share their work with the world. Uh, it's a really beautiful platform for us to be able to present our work and to meet the public and just kind of express ourselves to people who might enjoy our books in a direct way. So it's a beautiful opportunity and I'm very grateful. So happy that um, I'm here today with a dear friend uh, Omid uh, Arabian who uh, together we made the, these two books uh, The Donkey's Gone and The Heart's Garden uh, which both of them are based on uh, some poems by Rumi. Um, I did the illustrations and uh, Omid uh, wrote the text based on the poems. This is one of the events where Farhang is uh, essentially going beyond its regular sphere of influence and gets connected with the community at large, so it's a very important event for us. And also I believe it's a, a very fun event for families, particularly with young kids, so I encourage everybody to join us, if not this year, hopefully next year at the Festival of Books. We hope to see everybody come and look at our books and bring their kids to get familiar with our culture and art.